All right, guys, so this has been week five on the ketogenic diet. Um, and generally, I, my, di my diet consists almost of completely of liquids. Um, a lot of days, I actually won't even eat uh, solid foods at all. And I've, I've just been listening to my body. Some days I'm hungry, some days I'm not. The days I'm hungry, I eat, you know. But uh, just with liquids, I've been getting, I think it's around 1,800 calories. Um, majority of it being fat, of course, like 14, 13 or 1400 calories of its fat with a liquid diet like that you know I need to supplement with protein so I have you know I have my keto coffee and then I also have protein shakes and I actually wanted to up my protein because I'm just not hungry from from the coffee from consuming the fat in the coffee I'm just not hungry so but I wanted to up my protein so you know I started just drinking the shakes more regular where I'm drinking one in the morning and one at night um, and then I you know I had a history with uh, with whey protein because when I had first lost weight, the 60 pounds when I was about 36 or 37 years old, uh, I lost about 60 pounds, and that was with weightlifting, and that's when I started using whey protein uh, back then, but I had stopped for years, and now I started again just to make up my macros. Then I came across casein protein, which I'd heard of it before. I heard it referred to as a slow re uh a, a slow processing type um, protein to where it's not you know uploaded so quickly to your system and you know with a little bit of research i'm like okay um what i'll do is i'll buy casein i'll take casein protein you know because a lot of the hoopla about it was taking it before bed you know to uh, give you that slow protein synthesis i believe is how they refer to it but it's just kind of like it, it continues the tissue repair as you sleep longer than per se way uh this was my understanding so anyway i run out and i get uh, this this is the whey protein i've been taking this is actually really tasty the only thing i don't like like this is a walmart brand or my, i don't know what muscle tech brand is but this, i picked it up at walmart and it's a uh, it tastes really good. Uh, Walmart has a has a cheaper brand called like Body Fortress. This tastes better than Body Fortress, but what I don't like about it is Body Fortress has 30 grams of protein per serving, and this only has 24. But I think I bought this one because uh, the carbs was lower. Maybe that's what it was. And it turned out it wasn't that bad of a deal because it's two and a half pounds for like 24 bucks, so that's not bad. But then enter uh, the casein protein. This is also a Walmart purchase. Little little more expensive. Um, I mean, you know, this is, uh, this is two pounds and it was 19 bucks. So I, I guess it's about the same. So anyway, I, I invested in this and I get home and I take it the first night, um, and have a little bit of stomach upset, but not too bad. Do some research, you know, which the stomach upset, I didn't have the second night I took it. So it could just, I don't know. Um, uh, but anyway, then I, t I start, uh, researching, you know, the benefits of Casey and the benefits of way. Well, contradicting statements left and right you know i can find casein the only reason why it's slow theory, supposedly is because it just turns it into like a glue into your stomach and blah 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 and then i'd find things that would say well yes definitely use casein because uh it i think it's called protein degradation degradation and it says yes use the casein protein because it helps protect you from protein degradation both of them have scientific facts to back them up. So what the hell do you do? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just at the point where I'm like, you know, the other argument was the whey protein uh, is a better quality protein. You know, just the makeup of it, it's, it's, uh, it's a more beneficial protein than the casein. And so, you know, it has the best profile from what this guy with this sign, you know, with this scientific information had. It, you know, it's the best protein profile, and that includes whole foods. So, you know, a whey protein shake is, the be is you know, theoretically from this guy's point of view is just the, like, as close to a perfect protein as you can get. So, what do you do? You got to subscribe to one idea or another. And that's what it comes down to is just kind of making a decision, sticking with it, you know, looking at the facts, trying to keep an open mind. But at the same time, you know, you're, you can drive yourself nuts. And, I mean, the casein protein doesn't taste good. Um, it, it has a different texture. It doesn't liquefy or, you know, it doesn't blend as well with water. Um, and I just, I don't, you know, I kind of enjoy drinking the whey protein that I bought, this brand. But the this here, bleh, 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 nah, I don't like it very much at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this tub. 
uh, of the casein and I think I'm just going to take whey protein before I go to bed so uh, you know that's kind of uh, but again you know with my coffee right now because I'm not eating meats and stuff like that I'm actually drinking uh, chicken broth to kind of make up for the sodium because I'm not eating a lot of actual solid foods now today I ate pretty good I got up this morning and I walked for about a half hour um, I don't lift weights on Sundays um, but I walked for about a half hour and then I've kind of been hungry off and on today so I've ate kind of munched around two or three different times which some days I just don't do you know I drink a couple cups of coffee in the morning I work out I drink my whey protein then I don't need anything until like seven or eight o'clock that night and then what I've been doing is I've been coming home making more coffee um, and then I just kind of put it around here and, and, you know, do whatever. And then I don't have any problems sleeping or anything like that. And then I'll, I've been drinking the casein before I go to bed, but I think I'm just going to go with the whey protein. I like the taste better. Um, they're, I guess about the same price. You know, you got two and a half pounds for 25 bucks. You got two pounds for 20 bucks. So it's pretty close. It's, I mean, I, it's not enough to split hairs over the price. So it's definitely not because of the price difference, but because of the taste, because of, you know because generally you know what they had said like is all the proteins it, it talks about being within an hour or whatever but all the proteins take three or four hours to actually be processed and run through you know digested processed, and actually where it's supposed to be doing what it's supposed to do it takes three or four hours no matter what the protein or longer uh but no matter what the protein is it's like kind of a minimum of three or four hours so i don't know you know all i know is i like the taste of the other way the whey protein better and i can kind of go for i can see by the ingredients and the bcaas and stuff in it that it is a higher quality protein as far as a more you know well-rounded protein i guess you'd say um but that might that's my takes on it uh, any of you that's on the ketogenic diet or or even just a bodybuilder or weightlifter or something like that that sees this i mean what what you know what's your take what do you do what's working for you i mean i think that's what it really comes down to is what it works for you because you're going to find no matter what you research you're going to find a contradictory argument for each side of that point of view or what you know so it's you just got to choose a camp and that's i mean and you've just got to if it doesn't work for you then you can switch camps later but um so for now it's way i'm just going to go way in the morning way at night and then i'm eventually planning on putting solid foods back in but honestly i'm just right now i'm just not hungry to actually put solid foods in i'd actually have to cut back on the morning coffee um yeah i mean i'm just i, I enjoy my coffee you know so <laughs> So right now we're just not eating food. We're eating mostly liquids, but I feel pretty good. I mean, you know, I did have uh, some headaches and diarrhea yesterday, but again, you know, even five weeks in, I'm not a total key, you know, ketone burner. I don't believe. But anyway, that's all I got for now. Um, whatever your thoughts are on on the protein shakes, um, share that with me and let me know. You know, because I mean, I heard scientific evidence on both sides. The argument could be, you know, could be, uh, could show to be valid on either side as far as you know unless you just really want to do a whole boatload of research on it and i mean digging in to see where their credentials are and then digging into you know how creditable are those credentials and you just dig deeper and deeper i mean and that's a huge rabbit hole to fall into because i mean you know it just there's too much information out there but so i'm just i'm in the whey protein day and night camp i don't uh, and and a big you know deciding factor was was the taste the stuff is pretty nasty it has, it has this weird aftertaste so it could be the brand but again i don't know i'm just i uh, think i'll just stick with the whey but anyway guys that's it for now i appreciate you watching uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so um and if you like this video be sure to like uh if you got any questions or comments feel free to post them below if you didn't like the video give me a thumbs down and tell me in the comments what makes me suck uh other than that guys stay strong i look forward to talking to you soon